Welcome back, everyone. I'm Maggie Maxson, and this is Joel Abbott. We've got an awesome show today. We're saluting the band and vocal department today with some musical features. Let's kick it off by getting a little jazzy with Joel. Joel? Marching band's over. Now, it's all about the jazz. What is jazz band? A uh, jazz band is another uh, uh, facet of the music program here at the high school where we play uh, jazz style, swing style, Latin beat, uh, different things. It's America's own music, uh, so the, the, the kids uh, get the experience playing um, uh, music of many different styles in this program. How are people chosen to be in jazz band? Uh, jazz band is made up of uh, members of the trombone, trumpet, and sax sections, along with the percussion section. Uh, uh, members of the band, that's the parts we use uh, in the music that comes out. Uh, we pick the band every fall from uh, the members of tryout and, and try to put the best people in the best parts. When do you practice? Uh, jazz band starts uh, as soon as the marching band's over in the fall. Uh, we practice Tuesday and Thursday mornings and we have competitions that run through the end of March, so we practice Tuesday and Thursdays all the way through the, uh, till the end of March. So now we know what jazz band is, but who is the band? What do you play? I play the trombone. Uh, what is the best part of jazz band? Um, I really like waking up at 6 every morning to get here and traveling all around the state. What do you play? Drums. Ooh. What is the best part of jazz band? It's fun. I play alto saxophone. What is the best part of jazz band? The best part of jazz band is getting together with other people that also love music, and we get to play and we have a lot of fun together. Mr. Stey said if I can beat Brad here, I can perform in their first competition on December 4th. For WCTV, I'm Joel Kennedy. Wish me luck, guys. Your turn. He was good. Uh, nice try, Joel. Yeah, but I don't think there's any way he could ever outdo Brad. There's definitely a lot of talent on the show today. And we won't stop with just the jazz man. For the lowdown on a few talented musicians, here's Ronnie. Donald at a farm. Well, you can see we didn't make it to Allstate, but I'd know two ladies who did. On October 23rd, Mrs. Robillier took eight WCHS students to the Allstate tryouts. Mrs. Robillier had this to say about the lovely lady. I feel that her work really paid off. And I'm really proud of all of the kids for trying out for Allstate because they all put in a lot of work. Nadia was among the ones recalled and sang the notes of her life, being the first WCHS student to make it in eight years. She sat down with me and gave, talked to me about some of her accomplishments. Um, well, I feel honored to be chosen and that I'm glad that all of our hard work paid off. Cushion. So my percussion skills lack, but Betsy Hoover's were good enough to make it to Allstate. I'm really happy that I could get recalled as an alter or as a freshman, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. that. Wraps up Allstate, but before I go, I'd like to congratulate Monica Japontich and Samantha Kantak, two WCHS freshmen who made the Opus Honor Choir. This is Ronnie Epps reporting for WCTV, and I'm singing it back to you in the studio. Maybe I'll take some lessons first. Nice job, Ron. But maybe you should leave it to the pros next time. Joel. What? <laughs> it looks like all we have left today is to introduce to you this year's show choir. Libby went to some early morning practices to see what moves they've got up their sleeves for this year. Take it away, Libby. You wanted to sing on American Idol, but you're too afraid of what Simon will say? I have the solution for you. The Western City Show Choir consists of 40 talented individuals that sing and dance in competitions throughout various states. Much hard work and preparation is put into the making of these award-winning performances. The brains behind this operation is the new choir director, Mrs. Robilliard. 
My goals for this year are for the kids to have pride in the group and to uh, really learn the show to the best of their ability so they feel very proud of themselves on stage. I am looking for a lot of dedication from the kids and also support from the community. For a beginner, Mrs. Roe Billiard sounds pretty pumped up about this year's show choir. I wonder what the show choir members think. Practices are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the mornings from 7.15 to 8 o'clock. In order for show choir to have a good performance, um, we have to have good stage presence, good dance moves, and long, hard practices. My favorite part about show choir is taking long road trips to competitions. Well. It looks like they're off to a great start and are ready to dominate Simon at their next critique. Before I go, I would like to wish the show choir good luck with everything that they do. As for me, I'm getting ready to go see Simon. I'm Libby Rasmussen reporting for WCTV. Great job, Libby. And good luck with Simon. Thanks for joining us today. We'd like to give a huge congratulations to the members of the play, I Remember Mama. They had an awesome turnout to a great performance this weekend. On October 8th, the ceramics classes attended a Raku pottery firing workshop. We'll leave you with now with some footage of the process. See you next week. Bye. Bye.